Hi everybody. In this video, we are going to explain how you plot a discrete time signal or a sequence. That's the example we're going to do in this video. X of n, n is an integer like uh, negative number or positive number, minus five, minus four, minus three, zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. Four times cosine point 0.1 pi n plus pi over three. So that's a discrete signal. And the range of n we choose from negative two up to 25. So let's just go ahead and do it. I open already a file and I always start by typing clear and CLF so I can have fresh file, all the memory clean from the any calcul previous calculation and the figure is fresh and anything figure just was, would be, I mean, erased. Now I will start by typing the range. So I will write n equal, and then it starts from my negative two up to 25. Well, it's different than the continuous time signal because I mean, we don't put time step because the default is one. If you want a different default, you can, for example, if you want every two, you can say negative two to 25. But when you leave it like that, it means every single n. All right, so be like, start from negative two, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, and so on. All right, so now we have n, now we type the x of n, all right, x equal four times cosine bracket 0.1 times pi times n plus pi over three. So type the x. Now to plot the discrete uh, time signal, you don't use plot, you use step. S-T-E-M, and then you have n as x axis, and x in the y axis, and you uh, do the line width to make it just clear, plot, and the size that it choose two. You can choose anything that you like. And then you can add the label and thing like that, but just let's just see what we're going to get. And then we'll run the program and we'll check that's the, that's what you'll get at the discrete time signal. I think it was easy and thank you for paying attention. And we're going to have an, uh, another video for the discrete time signal. Thank you.